Hello everyone, it's Ben from TV Parts today. We are gonna be removing the boards from this Sony unit behind me. It's an XBR-49X830C. If you have any questions or need to order any parts, you can give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 and let's get into it. Okay, this is the back of this Sony unit. Uh, there will be right here, small plastic cover. One screw comes out of it. Uh, you should be able to slide the plastic panel off of the uh, cord that goes to the wall socket. And then there is just one clip on the power supply board. Use your thumb to clip down on it, it comes right out and then that'll be away. After that, you wanna get all the screws around the outside taken off, as well as the screws here lining the main board, and we should be able to lift this back up and away from the chassis. So let's get started. All right, we wanna do a once over just to make sure that we did get all of the screws out of the back here. Uh, and do keep in mind, there's gonna be two or three different styles of screws. Just keep them set from each other. Uh, remember where they go in the unit. Makes it a lot easier to get it back together. After we have the screws out, there are two uh, small uh, like flares that come out on the bottom here. We can use that to lift this back up and away from the chassis and the whole thing comes off very easily. Now we have access to the boards and we can get started. First up is the main board. We do have a couple different styles of uh, clips and attachments here on this side that we're gonna have to get away, as well as this plastic piece we're gonna have to free up from the main board so we can get to these screws uh, underneath the plastic piece. So first off, let's get this thing away from the board. And it does take just a little bit of force. If it's getting stuck, don't try to force it. You don't wanna break anything or cause any sort of fractures on that. Uh, so these clips over here, First one, we're gonna depress with our thumbnail. We're just gonna release the clasp, and then we can just walk it very gently away from the board. These two are going to be important that we do depress the small tabs on the top. This one has like a small cream colored tab that runs along uh, the top of this plug. We're gonna make sure that we have that depressed fully before we remove that cable. This one is gonna have a small plastic tab on the right and on the left side. We're gonna to wanna to push those down at the same time and then slowly walk that away. This one, we're gonna pinch down on the two sides, which should release the clasp on the left and right. And that should walk away from the board very easily. And then this one right here with our thumbnail, we're gonna push down on that tab and that just comes right out. Just got a handful of screws and this will come away. Yeah, it does feel like there is a little bit of adhesive underneath keeping this attached to the chassis. A little bit of force, not too much, and it comes right away. That's our main board. Next up is the T-Con board. It's gonna be a little bit more involved this time. There are quite a few cables, tape keeping the cables down. There's a metal plate that covers the T-Con board, uh, and there may even be some more surprises once we get through that. Uh, so let's get started. First, what we're gonna do is get these cables uh, right here removed. This one right here, we're gonna depress this little lever right here, and it just slides right away from the board, no problem there. This one's gonna have two plugs on the right and left side that we're gonna wanna depress, and they should just walk right out of there. Just feel like this one's got a little bit more resistance in it, we just wanna be patient, not forcing it or causing any damage to it, preferably. So what we're gonna do first is get this plastic piece off uh, with this uh, Wi-Fi board. We're just gonna get this away so that we got a little bit more room to deal with. And I believe these screws are actually keeping uh, this metal plating down as well. So after we get this out, there are going to be a couple different connections here. This guy right here, we're just gonna pop it up. Comes away, no problem. This clip we're gonna depress with our thumbnail should just slide right away from that board. And if we flip it over, there's one more. It actually goes to the IR sensor, same thing. Depress it with your fingernail and it should just come right out of there. We'll set this off to the side for now. And we're gonna get some of this tape out of the way. Just gently remove it so we can get these wires out. Also, this sticky guy over here. Let's try to make a little bit more room here. I wanna be able to get this plate off. So let's go ahead, one last piece of tape here. 
We can take all this cabling and just lay it off to the side. There we go. And we do want to remember where this stuff is. If it helps you, snap a quick picture of it so you can easily reference it to figure out where everything goes back into this unit. Okay, so let's get these larger screws out with the screw gun. It does appear that we've got two different kinds of screws on this metal plate. The black screws here are gonna be just fine for a large screwdriver or a screw gun. Set those off to the side. Now we're gonna use our number one Phillips head screwdriver. We just wanna make sure that we're not gonna be damaging any of these, so do be gentle with them, take your time. All right, so after those are out, we do wanna keep all these screws separate just so we know kinda of what goes where. This metal plate should lift up and out, and it looks like it's taken the T-Con with it, which we have a couple more pieces to remove from that T-Con before we are fully away from the chassis. So you don't wanna pull that up too much because you don't wanna damage these ribbon cables or any of these plugs. We wanna get our fingernail up underneath it, which pops the flaps up. We should just be able to lift those right up and out. Now we have our T-Con free. We can move on to the next board. Moving on to the power supply board, this one's gonna be pretty simple. Got three clips right here that we have to remove first. This one is just gonna be depressing with your thumb, which releases the latch, comes right away. Same exact things with these two guys. You just wanna push down on it, slowly walk it away from the board. This dude, same way. Push down on the clip, comes right out. Now we just got four screws and we should be just about finished here. And that's the power supply board, pretty easy stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for this Sony unit today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you do subscribe, you'll qualify for 20% off through TV Parts Today, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.